hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening to all of you welcome back to the channel guys i hope uh you're having a great day guys as always appreciation goes out to all of you for joining back to catch the video uh and a quick apology for this video guys for uh the voiceover I'm, I'm doing on it uh because of uh, some editing issues uh but quickly guys i have a number of interesting updates for you guys here and there is one that is particularly a shocker and uh, right now and is the the one that concerns uh uh nigerian supply goals and uh you know the news that was circulated uh, uh, you know a few days ago that Eguavon, uh austin Eguavon, you know uh, was given the mandate by NFF to actually occupy that uh, position as the uh, current Nigerian Super Eagles, uh head coach. But the latest update right now on this front uh, is the fact that uh, an NFF representative whose name was not actually stated uh, has come out to deny the fact that NFF uh, didn't give uh, Austin Aguavon any role whatsoever as a caretaker or interim manager, uh, which is something that, you know, got me confused um you know an nfl official actually coming out to say uh that you know no one knows that whoever as the interim manager that nfl doesn't know this that uh he in fact uh, you know actually used the word a joke taken too far that's the expression that he actually used to describe this situation and of course it goes further to say that no one in the nff knows or recognizes a government as the interim uh coach of the nigeria survival that what he is known you know within the nff um uh, department or industry is that he is still the uh you know technical director uh you know uh, that's his role uh but this is so so shocking and as well as surprising uh for me i'm sure it's also for you uh especially you know given the fact that he actually told this to uh conventional news uh, media like the nations and and of course uh, even uh, sports radio Brill fm actually carried this uh this one uh but you know the nigerian situation there's always twists and turns and nfl always have something you know up their sleeves and uh, you know, always seem to have a divided house, divided, uh, you know, statements within themselves. But the truth will definitely come out. And then, you know, hopefully in the coming days, we'll get to know what this means. But moving away from that, just guys, let me let you know uh, the one that uh, has to do with Stanley Wabali. And of course, uh, he has been in the news a number of times over the past couple of days. And uh, for the reason of transfer transfer speculation and of course in the last videos uh we've talked about uh, a number of uh, clubs that have been showing interest for the uh, goalkeeper and uh, remember we talked about qpr you know showing interest uh, to sign him and of course uh, we have uh, the al uh, etifak of the saudi pro league uh, but of course yeah, you know in terms of going 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 out to actually make a lot of money cash out you, you know you would expect them to go to al etifak um, but of course maybe in terms of professional decision um, you might expect him to go to qpr even though qpr are currently uh, in the division two uh, in the uk but uh, stanley actually you know um, spoke out about the situation and what is now said is that uh you know he's still currently tied on contracts with chipa united and is going to expire uh in 20 uh, in 2000 2025 um uh, summer which uh you know is still uh like next year uh, but of course he has uh, also noted that Chippa is club side chipa united will decide his future from next week uh, of course, uh, his club side has already placed a price tag of uh, two million euros on his head, and of <clears throat> and of course that means that any club that wants to buy him, uh, Etifak or QPR, they have to, you know, come up with two million euros to be able to snap him off the hands of Chippa United. But we'll see how this one develop, um, you know, through the days, through the coming days. Uh, but aside from Stanley Mobile, his uh, agent has also uh, been been talking uh, Mohamed Lawal uh, who is uh, the official agent of Sani Wabali uh, he, he's the one actually who's hoping to broker this deal uh, for Stanley Wabali of course you know putting heads together with Stanley 
but what he's not said is <clears throat> you know uh, that is very important you know um, the next step for Stanley Wabali of course that uh, you uh, uh, whatever club he joins he needs to uh, be playing regularly for uh, you know for the club of course because uh, his his future with the Nigerian Super Eagles actually depends on it if you want to uh, make appearances if you want to have a future or have a uh, uh, make a lot have a lot of caps for the Nigerian Super Eagles then you you know he would obviously need to uh you know be playing regularly for his new club if he decides to move which is very likely uh so that's what um while his agent uh has uh you know come to see but we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one definitely and uh you know see how it develops through the days and uh you just make sure they are subscribed to the channel because you know whatever happens well, make sure you know it's on this channel and guys moving on let me also let you know that uh william just Econ, who's currently uh in sickbed uh trying to recover you know after uh, you know his in his uh, surgery uh of course you know if you follow the videos you would know that uh, i mentioned that he would be out for the rest of the season for pork but he's also not in the news and this one also concerns transfer you know he's also, he's also been linked uh with the move big money move to saudi pro league uh, but what he's now said now is that uh you, you know it, it's it's very in, it, it's very uh exciting obviously for him to uh you know be linked to saudi pro league uh, but of course he's maintaining that he loves Polk and that you know he still enjoys playing at Polk. That yeah, uh, he feels uh, like a very important uh, figure in the Polk team, and he is truly happy with the Polk team. But that he's not overruling uh, the idea or the the possibility of actually going, uh, you know, to the Saudi Pro League in the future. Uh, he says anything can happen, but you know, in the meantime, he loves and. Uh, and is happy to be uh, playing at book but he's not shutting the door he's not leaving out any possibility of uh, you know going to Saudi tomorrow of course he's 30 years old and it, it, you know that's the age that you would uh, you know expect it, a dwindling uh, performance or a dwindling uh, career for most of these players especially in top top leagues and, and of course you know uh, Saudi teams are obviously always uh you know prowling around looking for players to to you know to take take away from some of these leagues uh, but that's you know what's happening on will interest Econ's front um, finally let me end with the uh update about uh, the under 20 who have now uh prepared and are fully ready to travel to ghana for the all african games and coach Ladamboso has has now picked out his 25 man squad for uh the under 20 uh men's team and of course i'm going to put that on the screen uh the list of the uh the people that actually made uh you know that's final squad uh so you guys can see um and then of course uh we have other athletes you know that will be representing nigeria we have a total of uh about 300 and uh 58 athletes who will fly uh from nigeria to ghana to uh, represent us uh in the all african games and uh we will be con competing in uh 25 spots um and hopefully we'll get you know the number of goals in in uh in these sports um but that's the update guys thank you for catching this one as always uh leave your reaction to any of the uh any of the stories that you feel connected to as always guys appreciation goes out to all the subscribers of the channel if you've just watched and not yet subscribed please do so and have a nice day guys